hay fever and immunity. Hello everyone, it's Janet Roach here, international tea master, mad dog lover and proud mother. I'm actually going to change that a little bit, proud mother, or mostly proud mother. No, I am, I'm joking. It's hay fever season, which means runny noses, sneezes, headaches, red and watery eyes. One in five Aussies will spend the next month battling these symptoms thanks to spring. So whilst the new season promises better weather and when everybody comes back to life after winter, it's also a season of dread for some of us. Now, I want to help you all suffering with hay fever this spring. I really want to boost your immunity to prevent those awful flare-ups that you can continue to live your life without any of these irritating inconveniences. I've written a book called Supercharge Your Immunity, which outlines how to dramatically improve your chances for positive results with all the information you need to strengthen your body's defenses. Going into detail about your body's immune system and how it works, this book will teach you all about your body's natural protective mechanisms and why they're important for your long-term success, the scientifically proven importance of micronutrients and how to use them to gain control over your hay fever quickly and easily with no side effects. And that's the point. Don't you find that all this hay fever medicine, you know, like it's a great idea, but the problem with it is that I'm either asleep at the desk or, um, you know, uh, exhausted all the time. It takes all of your energy out of you and it's like it sort of dulls you down to get you to not feel the sharpness of why you're suffering from the hay fever. Doing it naturally, you won't have any of those and that is what you want. Those are the sorts of things you want to get. So if you want to get your hands on this book and my tips for naturally defending yourself against hay fever, then go to re immunity.com. Now immunity is I-M-M-U-N-I-T-E-A. So re-immunity.com. Download it for free today. And if you're a hay fever sufferer, get on it and do it now. Hay fever is the common name for a condition called allergic rhin rhinitis. And it's caused by the nose and the eyes coming into contact with environmental allergens such as pollen, dust, mold, animal hair, um, all kinds of that kind of. It's an allergic reaction to particles that get trapped in your nose. An allergic reaction where your immune system treats a harmless substance as if it was dangerous. So your body then launches an attack and your nasal passages subsequently become more inflamed and irritated. In spring, the pollen count goes up, which means that there's a strong possibility of reacting with sneezes and runny noses. With all that pollen in the air, the chances of inhaling it are much greater. Now I want to give you some tips to help combat hay fever this spring and as I know all too well how uncomfortable it can make you. So let me tell you there is no need to suffer the way you are right now and there are actions you can take to greatly reduce the discomfort immediately. I recommend you go ahead and download my ebook supercharge your immunity to really understand how your immune system works and to find out even more tips on how to keep your immunity levels high. You can download it using the link re-immunity.com re-immunitea.com and get it for absolutely free today. Secondly, I'd recommend getting your hands on my immune tea. Now, I don't want to make like a big sales thing, but let's just cut to the chase. It's packed with incredible natural immune boosting ingredients. Drinking this tea every day, particularly if you do it, we recommend 28 days before spring starts. It's getting a bit late now. It's like before the winter season. It boosts your natural uh, nutrients uh, for your immunity and therefore strengthens the immunity. So drinking this tea every day will really fortify your body's defenses. Excuse me, I'm suffering a bit from it. That's I'm drinking some. Outlined in the ebook are all of the ingredients found within the immune tea and how they'll individually help with strengthening your body's protection from allergic reactions. Very interesting reading. I've also been looking into certain foods that might help with hay fever and allergies at this time of the year. Boosting your immune system is all about getting the right micronutrients. So fueling and nourishing the body. 
Vitamin C has been shown in studies to boost the immune system and act as a natural antihistamine. But you do know that you don't absorb vitamin C unless you're actually taking it in zinc. So zinc and vitamin C will really, really increase your uptake of vitamin C. A study held in 2018 on vitamin C and the treatment of allergies found that oxidative stress plays a key role in allergies. So as vitamin C is a powerful antioxidant and anti-inflammatory, it may act as a treatment for allergies. Good sources of vitamin C include strawberries, oranges, that's why these things come, uh, 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 that's why this food is available in this season because those are the nutrients that we need to tackle the problems that are created in these seasons. So strawberries, oranges, red green peppers, broccoli, Brussels sprouts. Now this information is contained within the ebook that I've written. There are many other tips. It's called Supercharge Your Immunity. But I just wanted to give you a little nugget. It's about the importance of micronutrients in your diet. That is the key. Did you know that there are nearly 30 vitamins and minerals that your body cannot manufacture in sufficient amounts on its own? These are essential micronutrients that help your body's natural defense systems. If you're lacking in just one of these, it can make it much easier for your body to react to external allergens like pollen. They work in conjunction with one another. So making sure that these micronutrients are kept topped up is vital, which is why you need to make sure that your micronutrients are levels are, uh, it takes a while for them to build up if you're lacking in any. Antioxidants like, as I said, zinc and selenium support lymphoid tissues and function of white cells, whilst iodine is critical for immunity. All of this information is held within my ebook, Supercharger Immunity, which also outlines the vital differences between natural nutrients versus supplements. Can you believe that one of the biggest vitamin C brands contains acetone, which is in nail polish? Oh, Jackie, you'll say I'm not listening when you lose an earring. Which is in nail polish remover as the main ingredient in their vitamin C. Now, have a look at that section in particular and think about what you're putting into your body. To find out more about this, head to re-immunity.com to download this ebook for free today and fight this hay fever once and for all. It's not a long book. It's very, very tight on the sort of information that you need. So get it today and know what you're talking about. Know how to combat this. I've also read about some other ways you can reduce the symptoms of hay fever. These methods include Avoid being outdoors for too long on high pollen days and, and avoid activities known to cause exposure to pollen, such as mowing grass. I mean, these are no-brainers. Shower after outdoor activities and wear sunglasses to reduce the amount of pollen that gets into your eyes. These methods are small mitigation strategies to slightly reduce your chances of coming into contact with pollen. However, they're unlikely to completely prevent contact with pollen. That means that other methods, such as protecting your body from the inside out, are much more effective at helping you stay healthy during spring. So what are you waiting for? Head to re-immunity.com. Now I'm going to spell it again. I know it's repetitious. R-E-I-M-M-U-N-I-T-E-A. Dot com to download your free ebook and start leading a life without the inconvenience and the stress of hay fever. I hope we can combat this spring and remember, nourish yourself.